Even though there are millions of Americans trying to get in shape to look better, there are just as many that want to get in shape so they can move better. And with us this morning to uh, go over some great mobility drills for senior citizens is our fitness expert, Wes Cole. Good morning. Good morning. This is a great topic. It a lot really of people is. need help in this area. Sure, absolutely. Everybody's really kind of into the cosmetic aspects yes. of it, but I had the opportunity to talk to one of the best corrective exercise specialists in the country, and he had three exercises that every senior citizen or soon-to-be senior citizen needs to be doing. Okay, and the first one is called the teapot. Drill. Call the teapot drill. It's real interesting. Beth's going to come out here and demonstrate. What you're going to do is you're going to keep your upper body totally in line with your leg. It's just very, very simple. Okay. Eventually, you can get to where you're doing this without the chair, but it does take a little bit of balance. But there's a couple of reasons why the, the good doctor probably picked this exercise. It really works the, the muscles on the back of the leg, the real mm -hmm. posterior part. You also find that your leg is kind of shaking if you do this exercise. It really conditions the stabilizers. And I tell people all the time that single leg movements are very important because as we get older, balance becomes a real major your issue. Oftentimes a lot of senior citizens, a lot of injuries occurred because they, right. they fall. And I always tell people, thank you, Beth, life occurs really on one leg. If you think about it, when you're walking, mm -hmm. when you're running, when you're going up flights of stairs, you're on one leg at a time. So having the skill to be able to stand on one leg and maintain good balance is, it's very, very important. It's not just for athletics. Okay. And the next exercise for mobility for senior citizens is the chair squat. I do this drill a lot when I'm dealing with a lot of senior citizens. And a lot of people out there that are real fit right now, they think, well, that's kind of an easy drill, but it can become an issue if you don't stay on top. Okay. Beth, come on out here. Basically what happens over time, if someone has kind of weak legs, they sit down and then they start using their arms to push up kind of as leverage yep. to get up. After you do this maybe seven to ten years, you're fine, but when you start losing your upper body strength too, you get to where you're just stuck. What people need to start doing is focusing at least two or three times a week and just coming straight up and back down. And when you sit all the way down, it forces your glutes and your hips to fire, and this really keeps all your leg muscles in really good condition. Three or four sets to 12 to 15 reps, this simple exercise exercise can become a big deal as we get older and if you just stick to it you've know, been able to sit down and get back up yeah. it's a, it, it seems simple right now but it can get harder as, as we get older exactly. so stick with it and the third exercise is called the bird dog well dealing with a lot of older people when it comes to back injuries oftentimes I can't condition and rehabilitate their back with the weights Dr. Stuart McGill is one he's a professor of um, back biomechanics in mm -hmm. Canada and he has a great exercise that he believes is one of the best because it's also one of the safest Beth coming out here she loves demonstrating this exercise it's called the bird dog <laughs> <laughs> but this great exercise right here works all the muscles along the spine. See how she's just lifting okay. her right arm yep. and her left leg. And like I said, it's very, it's very safe. You can do it in a high rep format. And accord, according to Dr. McGill, it's not back strength that, that, is, that maintains back health. It's back endurance. So like, like I said, I mean, build up to where you can go 30 or 40 reps. It's one of those exercises where it's really, really hard to overdo it. And again, we're not talking about really getting in shape. We're talking no. about this is for senior citizens, yes. for mobility. and just It really is. It's about around. mobility and just kind of sticking to it. And I guarantee if you do this three or four times a week, um, you'll be able to, over the years, you'll be able to move and, and mm -hmm. walk. Some, a lot of stuff that we take advantage of right, right now. Exactly. Okay, time to answer some questions from our viewers. This first question comes from David. I hate leg exercises but love to run. Will long distance running build muscle? There was actually a study done years ago. Um, with the big fitness chain, it's either most people either do a lot of cardio or weights. Mm -hmm. Very rarely do we have, do have people do both. The bad thing about long distance running is it really stimulates really the, the type 1 fibers, the endurance fibers. They do have growth potential for muscle building, but they're usually a little bit smaller. If you want to build muscle and really tone up the legs just running, I, I recommend getting some hills in a couple times a week or doing some sprints. Uh -huh. That 100% exertion will tap into those type 2 fibers and really kind of round out your whole fitness program because, like I said, sprinting can, can build muscle too. All we have to do is look on the Olympics to, to see that the sprinters are real good shape. But include some sprints and maybe some hill run. I guarantee it'll work. Run those stairs. There we all we hate it, but we have to do it, right? <laughs> okay, the next question comes from Kate. What exercises can I do if I recently hurt my foot? Well, oftentimes, I always call it the floating injury. You know, I always said if I only worked out when I felt 100%, I would never work out. Yeah. You know, this seems to yeah. all, you go into a gym, there's always kind of a short shoulder, you know, uh, you know a, short, a sore knee. You know, you have to kind of just kind of learn to move around mm -hmm. it. If, you're, if your leg is hurting, if your foot is hurting, sit down and just really kind of, it's time to maybe focus on your upper yeah. body, focus on some of your weak points. And by the time your leg gets better, your foot gets better, you'll be able to kind of play catch up with your legs. But, you know, don't, don't have that, ad, uh, that idea where you have to be 100% to go into the gym because... No you, excuses. You'll never, you'll never be 100%. That's so. right. Thank you, Wes. If you have a question that you would like Wes to answer, just go to the health section of our website, kjrh.com, click on the habitual health link, or you can give Wes a call, 749-0960, or visit his gym on 46th, just east of Sheridan.